Hello there, how are you? In this video, let's see how to install Python in Windows 11. So before installing, let's uh, make sure we don't have Python already installed in our system. So go to command prompt and type in Python hyphen hyphen version and it says Python was not found. And let's do the same for pip. Sorry, it's version. It says pip is not recognized. So we don't have Python in our system already installed. So let's go ahead and get it installed now. So go to your browser and type in Python download. Uh, go to the first link that is python.org slash downloads. And here on the top, you can see the latest version that is 3.10.8. Uh, so I'm going to download this but if you have any specific version that is in your mind uh, you can go ahead and uh, select that instead but i'm going with the latest version in this video so once that is downloaded let's go to file explorer you can see this in downloads uh, let's go to c drive and uh, let's create a new folder with name python and now go to downloads so let's double click on this and add python.exe to path check this one it will automatically add the path for you and we will go with customize installation so here let's keep all these options uh, as default uh, it basically installs documentation and the pip is the Package manager for Python and IDLE is uh, IDE specifically for Python, uh, Python development and learning environment. It will uh, download a test suite for you and also it will download PyLauncher. Uh, so when you have more than one uh, versions installed, it will come in handy. So click next. And yeah, I'm, I would like to check this install Python 3.0 uh 10 for all users so if you have more than one user uh you can check this and then i'm going to check these two as well i would like to have some debugging binaries uh debugging symbols and most of my uh development happens in vs code so i would like to have some debugging tools and then let's change this path to the folder that i have created in my c drive and let's keep the name as it is so when you wanted to install other versions of python uh, you can do the same process and you can install all of them in this uh, python uh, parent library uh, sorry parent directory that we have created now and uh, you can distinguish uh, different versions with the name and yeah usually we do install uh, latest versions of uh, python 3 and also python 2 uh, so that we can do all the testing for our application in uh, both python 2 and python 3 uh, but this video uh, is only for python 3 and but you can do the same process with python 2 as well so let's go ahead and click install and it will be done uh there you go let's close this and let's go back to command prompt and give python hyphen hyphen motion again and it didn't came let's close this and open command prompt again Python version. So there you go. Uh, we successfully got installed uh, Python 3.10.8. And let's check if we got pip as well. Yes, we got pip as well. And let's get into Python shell. Type in Python, and here you will enter into Python shell. And you can execute any commands of python here and 
it will show the output uh, right away and this is basically for interactive development and let's uh, exit from here i'm calling quit function and now let's check uh, other tools as well if they got installed or not let's check ideally yes we got ideally and this is nothing but uh, the specific id that comes with python uh, here also you can uh, write your code or develop applications and execute them uh, all right this uh, works as other ids but it is only for python got it and let's check we got python shell as well yes we got it so this is uh, one way to get into python shell is through command prompt you just type in python or py uh, it will take you to python shell other way is uh, you can directly open python terminal here also you can do interactive development there you go so that's it guys in this video we had seen how to install python in windows 11 uh, you can uh, do the same process for other versions of python as well so thanks for watching if you find this useful click like comment and share and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching